The Double Tree by Hilton Hotel in Portland, Oregon, where an African-American guest claimed he was racially profiled last week for talking on the phone in the lobby, on Friday issued an apology and revealed that the staffers involved in the exchange have been suspended. Jermaine Massey, 34, posted a video of Sunday's incident on Instagram showing his confrontations first with hotel employees and then a Portland police officer who was summoned to the hotel by the staff. In the clip, Massey can be heard attempting to explain to staff that he had been on the phone to his mother when he was reported by Hilton Porters in the lobby. In response to media scrutiny sparked by Massey's video going viral, the hotel issued a statement Wednesday that described what happened between the guest and the Doubletree staff as unfortunate. Massey has since retained two attorneys who said that their client was only guilty of calling his mother while Black and demanded that the hotel issue a public statement explaining why the hotel guest was approached by a security guard to begin with, reported KPTV. The Portland Hotel on Friday responded by issuing an unqualified apology to Massey on Twitter and stating that the workers involved in the incident have been placed on leave pending the outcome of an internal investigation. We sincerely apologize to Mr. Massey for his treatment this past weekend and deeply regret the experience he endured, the follow-up statement read. It was unacceptable and contrary to our values, beliefs and how we seek to treat all people who visit our hotel. We have a zero-tolerance stance on discrimination of any kind and do not tolerate behavior of that nature. We are seeking the counsel of community leaders and will engage a third party to conduct a full investigation into the incident, reviewing our internal processes, protocols and trainings to ensure we are creating and maintaining a safe space for everyone. Massey, a resident of Kent, Washington, who had traveled to Portland to attend a Travis Scott concert, claimed he was targeted by a security guard because he is black and that this led to him being ejected from the hotel on December 22. In the recording of the incident Massey posted, the guard says that he was calling the cops because Massey was loitering, despite Massey's holding his room key card. Portland police then arrived and escorted the man off the premises. He said he was allowed to retrieve his belongings from his room and check out at the front desk while police waited. Tonight I was racially profiled and discriminated against for taking a phone call in the lobby of my hotel, Massey wrote on Instagram. He the security guard said that I was a safety threat to the other guests and that I was trespassing and said that I was a disturbance because I took a personal phone call from my mom in a more remote area of the lobby. I cannot believe the level of professionalism that this hotel property had with me tonight. It is never okay to discriminate against guests for the color of their skin and to prejudge them based on your own bias against that race. The officer who responded to the hotel reportedly told Massey that staffers demanded that the guest be arrested for trespassing if he refused to leave. The cop then offered to give Massey a ride to another hotel, but the 34-year-old man told the officer he had a car of his own and did not wish to be transported in the back of a patrol vehicle. The double tree in Portland claimed soon afterwards that the entire incident took place because of a misunderstanding. Paul Peralta, general manager of the Doubletree, told Oregon Live Monday that he has reached out to Massey to try to amend the situation. Safety and security of our guests and associates is our top priority at the Doubletree by Hilton Portland, Peralta said in the initial statement.
This unfortunate incident is likely the result of a misunderstanding between our hotel and guest. We are sorry that this matter ended the way it did. We are place of public accommodation and do not discriminate against any individuals or groups.